Hello you lovely beautiful people So today I'm gonna tell you how to manually add a item Let's say that reference item into Mendeley Alright so as you can see you can see two type of um, reference One like this means it has the file So you can see the file is here which is gonna take up the space which you only have limited space in the Mendeley account so the best way to utilize the space of your Mendeley account is to use just the the reference, the citation file, let's say that so you're gonna have the .ris, .bib text, blah 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 so many kind of it which you can just add and import it. But another way to make your own reference citation, whatever, is to do it manually. So I can show you the first way. So basically, you can use the notepad and you can put the information. Let me show you. For example, like this one. Oh, nope. Too much. I'm gonna show you the one I made by myself. Where is that? Where is that? Um, stone R. Nope, not this one. Yeah. Okay, this one is the example. So the way you can do it is to put the title first, author, the date of publication, uh, publication. The journal, whatever, the URL, DOI, if you have it, page number, whatever you have, all the information. Just make sure that you you make the line like leave a you know a space between line. That's the best way to do it. And then you save it, and then you import it, and then let's pretend that we import this one just now, and then we come here. To the detail, make sure that you get the right type of uh, document as a reference. Make sure the title is correct, the order is correct, so you can actually change it. So you can just put last name, comma, first name, or you can just put first name, space, and last name, and the system will automatically put it into last name, comma, first name format for you and you can change the year page abstract if you want to put some information in there URL if you want put some DOI if you have it so you can pretty much change the information in here another way for example let's say I want to add something in the global warming something about CO2 so what I can do, I have information from, let's say from this website, alright, I want this information to be in the Mendeley, so I go to the folder, I want to add this thing manually, go to file, add entry manually, and then you have this, so just go to the type of document you want and then the, mm -mm. so breakthrough so this is supposed to be the title all right author who is the author technical universitat munchen Publication? Mm, not really. Not really a publication. Yeah. 2018. Abstract. Not exactly abstract, but you can put the first paragraph in there. Dead access service today. So I use this kind of format, whatever you want to put in there, 
and then go for it. Usually you're gonna need the time of access, but I don't think it's that such a significant, so it's all right. So just make sure that you have all the information in there and go for it, save. And then voila, you have the new citation, which this kind of citation doesn't take much space in your Mendeley account. I presume that you still have one gigabyte maybe. Last time that I checked last like a few years ago it was one gigabyte. I have no idea right now how much space that they allow you to um, upload your information but maybe this is the best way. I mean the most economical way to manage the space. So you can have thousands of thousands citation in your uh, Mendeley and yeah it's free so go for it guys all right i hope you learned something today and i see you next time on my channel okay bye